Hello, I'm Don Dare, lay leader of Fountain City Methodist. Thank you for your faithfulness to the church. Because of your commitment to the ministry of our congregation, we are an ever-increasing effective witness to Jesus Christ in Fountain City and the surrounding community. Being a partner in a congregation that changes the lives of individuals and enriches our community is gratifying. Because of the COVID-19 coronavirus, this has been a year unlike any other. Nevertheless, the reach of our church's mission continues. Our God is a, is a generous God. Our God is a God of transformation who changes us and through us changes the community. But it takes financial resources to do that. The decision to give a gift is a choice, but as a follower of Jesus, it really isn't an option. We are encouraged to give something out of thanksgiving for what God has done and is continuing to do in Knoxville. Our financial gifts do remarkable things when they are transformed into ministry and mission. Consider a commitment to contribute a pledge of either your time, your talents, or an offering. The gifts we bring make good things happen. Thank you for, for being a part of Invest in Hope. Invest in Hope. I do not have a single book on my bookshelf that teaches me how to pastor during a pandemic. It is truly on-the-job training. I have kitted with some of my colleagues that I am going to write my seminary and demand a refund because they did not teach this course. I simply want to say thank you for the ways that you continue to invest in Fountain City United Methodist Church and in what you will be doing in the year 2021. It will certainly be a different sort of year but I trust that all along the way we will continue our faithfulness to God as we invest in hope and ask God to use us that we may continue to extend the kingdom of Jesus Christ. Invest in hope. When the coronavirus hit, we all had to make adjustments and the youth program was no different. We moved our Wednesday night program to Instagram and our Sunday night discipleship offerings to Zoom. I grabbed a couple of college students and we made goodie bags for all the kids in the program and we drove to each and every one of their houses and dropped them off on the off chance that we might be able to say hey through the door. <laughs> when the opportunity presented itself, we scheduled out outdoor activities. We did fellowship time by taking hikes at House Mountain and the Ein Center. We played disc golf at Tommy Shumper Park and Victor Ash. And we even, in the middle of the coronavirus, we worked with Operation Backyard to build a wheelchair ramp for a lady just a couple miles away. We didn't stop being the church just because Corona hit. We just had to shift how we did it. And I want to thank you for your support during this time. And I also want to tell you, we're still hopeful for so much in the future. We're still planning our events for next summer. We're getting ready for our mission trips and hoping to go back to Puerto Rico. We're hoping to go to Project Crossroads in Western Virginia and work with them. We're looking forward to the opportunity that we can get back in this room and start our youth worship again on Wednesday nights. Your support makes those things possible. Invest in hope.